Welcome back to Interview Ninja Step 75. We're going to continue with the briefing for the block test and talk a little bit more about purpose and use of time. And then in the other half of this particular step, we're going to watch Corbin try to get back into projection and organizing his thoughts about personal development. And we see the first two tries he has at that. And you can actually see how difficult it is to get back into the subject of your own thoughts and your own feelings, which you'd think would be top of anybody's skill set, but they're not. We tend not to think about ourselves, hardly at all. And when we do, quite often, it's a sense of frustration and worry. So it's hardly surprising that because people don't know how to think about themselves and they haven't developed their ability to see the positives and see what they have actually got buried in their subconscious minds, they tend not to go on that journey. Okay, so number three is the interview experience, which I be I haven't heard about and I'm very interested, no, but yes. so is everybody else, hopefully. If they're bothering to watch this, they need to be interested, mm -hmm. right? Because they can learn from what you learned. And then uh, interweave through it. I'm hoping you can interweave a sense of purpose. So it's not just what happened, but you did this because of that, or they asked you this because of, you know, it, it's, it's finding the purposefulness in, in yourself about why you're there and what you're saying and in them, okay? Because mm -hmm. consciousness of purpose is extremely important in this sort of process. During this challenging stage of going from good to great, the most important thing you can do is analyse your own purpose. It's much easier to get somewhere if you know where you're going. At the start of a day, you can ask yourself, what am I going to do today and why am I going to do that? Is it to earn or learn or grow or develop your personal power? Then during the day, every few hours, do a mental check of how do I feel about my progress today? If the answer isn't, I feel on track and great, think, is there anything I can do right now that's better? Often there's nothing you can do at that moment because there are all sorts of challenges and demands. But you can perhaps make a little note and say, when I get 5 or 10 or 15 minutes, I am actually going to perform that activity because it will help me realign how I spend my day with my real big picture purpose. Okay, so the sense of purpose and then just to wind up what you're doing the rest of the day very briefly. Yep. Because that, the purposefulness comes in there because you're going to do stuff for the rest of the day. So, you know, what's that purpose? But you, I'm not expecting you to cover the details of that. I'm just saying, so what you're going to be doing the rest of the day and then what your attitude is to what you're be, going to be doing the rest of the day on, a, again, a gestalt basis. You know, are you happy about doing what you're going to do for the rest of today and how you're feeling about yourself. So by the time you've done this, you'll be able to tell people your thoughts and feelings. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is, uh, well, before we start... No, this, is, this is fine. This is, this is all good. There are no, no problems. I'm just... Okay. Yeah. Well, I think we'll stop this bit because mm -hmm. this is a segment using your method of, you know, thingies. That's a technical term. <laughs> Corbin, and especially his subconscious, maxed out two minutes ago, and I was trying here to wind down and lighten up. He has been away from the coaching process, and these block tests usually come straight after a whole bunch of coaching as a sort of summary. Therefore, I have to say I do admire just how much he is prepared to take on. And I hope you are really serious about developing yourself. From your own point of view, it's important to seek out challenges and have a go. I wish I could be there with you, but it really is up to you or friends if you're working with friends. There's no such thing as failure when it is you who is deciding what to try. 
failure is probably the best teacher of all. What we're going to do now is continue with this particular step by watching Corbin try to re-engage and develop his talking to camera skills. Just to let you know, he will make two or three attempts at this before he really gets into his stride, and we'll be watching most of that in step 76. Meanwhile, let's see how he makes a start. Once I'm going to get going, that'll be good. It's just the first hello, which I'm not very good at. All of this is going to be cut out, but you don't. Good afternoon, mates. <laughs> That's the best I've got. Um, it's me. I have returned from my magical world travels. Um, I got back like a month ago, and I was away for three and a half months, a hundred days exactly, and it was great. I won't go on about my travelling because that's not what I'm here to do. Um, Oh damn, I thought I was going to be so much better than this, at this, than I was, again. Ooh, okay. <sighs> Corbin has a quality called intentionality, and I hope you do as well. In fact, I'm pretty convinced you must have it, because if you've gone all the way through to this stage, and perhaps even watched the Get the Job You Want course, then you pretty well certainly have intentionality. And he's going to need it to take him back into stride of the learning process and developing all four of his intelligences. Because it takes exceptional qualities to do it. So here we are at the end of his first try. The most obvious block was getting back into talking to camera. He needed to retrieve from his subconscious the presence and projection skills that he's already developed. They are there, it's just he's going to have to go and look for them. He also realised he had to re-engage his better word selection skills. Again, definitely there. So, in the background, his subconscious is also starting to think, how am I going to talk about awareness and consciousness? How much do I actually know about what they mean? I don't know if I am self-aware at all. In fact, I'd rather talk about some easy stuff like what went on at the interview. The good news for us and the learning process is that because of his intentionality, he's going to try again. And if that fails, he will try yet again. And we will be able to see just how quickly a person's subconscious can scrabble back and remember stuff and bring it forward and enable you to use it. Inside all of us, you very much included, is a super being. And this whole course is about helping you find that person and become that person. Alrighty, mates. It is me. I have returned from my magical travels. I got back about a month ago and I was away for like three months. So you probably haven't seen me for like five months. Um, quite a long time. Quite a long time. But I won't go on about my travels because that's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to talk about my BBC interview that I had yesterday up in London. And I'm, why do I keep tripping up? <sighs> not the best start, mate. Oh, and I can't even delete them, so I've just got to keep going. Um, I'm going to have to do some heavy editing. My awareness. I'm going through a... Graham might not want me to show you that I'm going through his sheet, but... Oh, of course, because we did the intro. I'm going around, and I'm going to discuss with you all these previously selected points in order to... Um, explain my current situation. So I got back from my travels about 
it was like a hundred days of traveling and it was great. I loved it all and I want to do it again. And I'll leave my traveling stories at that. Graham spoke with me, I'm sure you may have seen the video before I went about everything I should look out for and all the things to see and just to generally be aware of where I was going. And I think that really helped me. There was a lot of things that I wouldn't have been looking out for that I really was because of that conversation. When you go for that interview, people may be interested in how aware you are of what is going on around you. Before Corbyn went travelling, I encouraged him to use the opportunity to develop part of his social intelligence by observing the differences between cultures and behaviours in other countries. I briefed him on what's called PEST and PESL, which is political, economic, social, technical, legal and ethical aspects of societies. Also, to think about the influences of history on the present-day thinking of both young and old people, and how much something that occurred a hundred or even two thousand years ago can drive political and ethical thinking about what is right, what is true, what is fair. Israel's an example of that country, as I speak to you now, that's less than 70 years old. That was about developing Corbyn's social awareness. His challenge now is about personal awareness, which also involves different emotional intelligence factors. So becoming personally aware of the experience you're having and from awareness being able to do critical analytical thinking, then to understand and then to put into practice what you've learnt. And that's what we're seeing here as Corbyn keeps trying on with uh, giving us this update. He's getting back into the stride of the conversations we've been having up till now to help him become a conscious competent. And that starts with becoming aware of yourself and your reaction and how other people are reacting to you. But maybe that's not what he means by awareness. Man, I'm doing a bad job of this. I thought this was going to be easy. Um, Understanding and analysing yourself isn't easy until you develop it as a skill and then it becomes automatic and extremely easy. But Corbyn still has some way to go. All the necessaries are there inside his subconscious. But the pathway between his conscious mind, so he can talk to you, and the information which is in his subconscious mind is as yet an unbuilt pathway. But we're working on that and we're going to establish that. And you'll see more of this as we go into step 76.